Yeah, it is uh, midday on Saturday, the 10th of May, and I am in my office here, and uh, there's a Bonhams auction going on up in New York, and I'm a bid on a 1931 Savoia Marchetti built by American uh, Aeronautical. It was an American company. Savoia was built under license, a little seaplane uh, uh, amphib. Uh, and uh, anyway, so I just figured out that I could watch the auction online. They're on uh, number 36 right now, and I'm going to be bidding on 225. Holding it here, 200, 220. May I say 50? 220. I hold it at 220. Is there more? 220. At 220. Any more at 220? Last chance to you at 220. 250. 280. That's it. I'll be back. It is now 120, and they are still cranking on this auction. They're up to uh, uh, 160 is the lot, and uh, I'm bidding on uh, lot 225. It's an airplane, a Savoia Mark Chetty that was built by American Aeronautical Corporation, and uh, it's a cute little amphib seaplane. I had an opportunity to buy one that was flying. There's only three in the world. Uh, one's in Italy. Uh, it was an American built uh, under license Italian airplane. And uh, anyway, uh, Buzz Kaplan had one. He rebuilt, flew it, flew about 50 hours over in Europe. I had an opportunity to buy it for $100,000. It was a flyable airplane. And I looked out and I said, This thing just looks like a little home built to me. It's got a little Kenner engine in it. Uh, pretty much flies with two people, but you could put a little small child in the back. Uh, it'll hold three. But anyway, so I ended up uh, passing on it, and I kind of regretted it. Later I found out the airplane had been purchased by the R.J. Reynolds Museum in, I believe, North Carolina. And then all of a sudden I saw this one go up for sale. It's, uh, it's a rebuilt airplane, but only to static. And when Buzz rebuilt uh, his S-56, um, it basically was all new wood. I think they kept one piece of wood. Uh, the stern post in just to say it had a piece of original wood in it but the rest of it in the fuselage was all brand new I think there was some ribs and maybe some of the part of the center section it's a biplane uh, in the top wing was kept uh, original but uh, you know the rest of it was pretty much metal parts and all that that I think they saved most of it this project was a better one but unfortunately if I buy it and I want to fly it I've got to make all new wood. It's uh, the when they uh, restored it at the Cradle of Aviation Museum uh, shop there, the volunteers basically used some special uh, material to impregnate the, the wood to preserve the originality of the wood, uh, but to keep it kind of, you know, structurally uh, sound, but it's not structurally strong enough, you know, to actually fly. So all the wood's got to be replaced. I believe this was a better project than what Buzz Kaplan started with, so uh, they've got a, a reserve on it here, not a reserve on it, but they're basically estimating between, uh, let's see what they've got here, they're estimating between uh, eighty and $120,000, which uh, I talked with the head of the Cradle of Aviation Museum where it's located, and uh, he's only had a couple of people come through, and he's not quite sure what it's going to go for. It might go cheap. Uh, when I first talked to him uh, and showed interest uh, in the airplane, uh, he said they might bid up to about $100,000. But this thing's got a 25% buyer's premium on it, uh, plus they're charging state sales tax. So whatever you bid, you're pretty much going to have to add about another third on top of that. So if it goes for $100,000, you're going to pay $132,000 I'd pay $132, because of Florida state sales tax. So anyway, um, We'll see. Back to the auction. 600, he says yes. 600 out, your bid, sir. 600 out, six, selling in the room. 600 takes it if no more. Any advance beyond, before I sell for six. Well, last chance at 600. Are we all done at six? It's going to sell if no more at 600. Your sir, at six. 
Hello. 376, thank you. All right, it's uh, 10 after 2, and they're up to 203, so we're getting there. Some of this stuff's going uh, about where they said it would. Some of the things have gone pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. No more? There's a Conestoga wagon. In front of me at 1800. 1800 is the bid, and they had three to 5,000. $1,800 final amazing. call against the internet as well. You can all join in if you want to at 1800 727 It's yours. If you want to head west, that was a good deal. A very good home. <laughs> to have the okay, this is going to go for a lot of money. It's uh, even got the bucket underneath. This is a Silsby Rotary Steam Pumper. Estimates 70 to 100 grand. Just as you see it there with the horses in front of, uh, in front of it in the museum and uh, a very very special machine indeed well at some point they're going to call me on the phone i'm a telephone this, i can bit. start already with interest at forty thousand dollars here with me at forty thousand dollars i have as an absentee at forty thousand it sits with me at forty thousand dollars forty thousand for the pumper sixty two thousand to my right at sixty two sixty five thousand here at sixty five thousand dollars 65, still against you in line as well if you want. 65 is here at 65. He's out at 65,000. Evan, you're coming in at 65,000. May I say eight? I'm sure glad I don't need one. Eight, eight here if you want, and eight here if you want as well. 70,000. All right, now they're in the range, 70 to 100. Right in front of me at 70,000. It's interesting, I'm learning something here because I thought they were going in 5,000 bids at this, time, at this range, which the airplane will be in, but you can go in like quarter bids, 20, the 2,000, 3,000. May I say 5, sir? It's against you this time. We're 72, 75, he says. Against the internet this time. Against you, internet bidder, up in the, uh, up in the balcony there, Mr. Internet. 75. I guess that's for a fire or something. Something. I'm not sure what. Still in my room at eighty thousand against you, Mr. Internet bidder out there. Eighty or Mrs. Internet bidder actually. Yes, I may well be. Eighty thousand dollars is the bid. Do we have more? At eighty thousand dollars. Get into the internet. I'm going to call it. It's in front of me at eighty thousand. Anyone else would like eighty to do if they want? But eighty thousand is my bid here. At eighty thousand. Fair warning to you, and to you. $80,000, going to sell it right in front of me at $80,000, all sure. No regrets. Yours, sir. Uh, well mm. done. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was a far for fire. Interesting. Okay, we're up to uh, item 220. There we go, 220. The 1945 Republic Aircraft Ford JB2 Loon Buzz Bomb. Telephones are live on this. This I is got a German from one. the Cradle of Aviation Museum, where it has been viewed and where it has been stored for a number of years. Start me, please. I'm going to get a call Four here pretty two. soon from the uh, $5,000 to start. Let's say $5,000 to put him in. $5,000 bid straight away. $5,000. Well, we're selling it at five then. $5,000. Herb, how about one of these? Do you need that? No? $5,000. $7,000. Yeah, the bid runs up here. It's pretty cool. And it tells you if it's... Uh, in the sale room, if it's a telephone bid or if it's a uh, absentee bid, it's pretty cool. Actually, I probably could have bid online. Seventy-five in the room against your boot. Paid a lot more for mine, but mine's a German one. Eight thousand. Nope. Eighty-five. Nine thousand. Getting there. Eric? Cool. Okay, let's start again. Let's say, let's say 7,000 to start this, please. 7,000 for this engine. 7,000. Yeah, Kermit Weeks, uh, owner and creator of Fantasy of Flight in Central Florida. 7,000 this time. 7,000. Telephones are coming through. $7,000 this time. Right, yeah, it, it's, it's interesting. I'm actually watching it online, so. Against the room at 4000 We have interest at four. Are we done? This is the room at $48,000. Yeah, 
Any further interest at $48,000 final call. Not quite enough on that one. Come and see us afterwards if you want to arrange something on that. Okay. We'll move along back into the cot sale of properties and wonderful thing that the 1920s that's all right <laughs> s56 been sitting up in the cradle, cradle of aviation museum since uh, 1989 or thereabouts they restored it as we detail in our catalog it was restored really for aesthetic purposes and they did an absolutely magnificent job were it to uh, be something that one was considering taking up into the air it would need a proper aviation standard restoration so do please bear that in mind but yeah i'm actually listening to it online so extremely nicely presented and uh, really quite a piece, as you can tell from the photograph. Okay, turn it down. $45,000. Yeah. $45,000. All right. 50 45. Sitting here with me at 45 50 is a bit straight away. $50,000. There's $60,000 holding on the phone there. $60,000. I'll go 70. Selling all the way at $70,000, 75000 Now we'll go 80. Dollars is here at 80000 and I sell at $80,000. Final call, last chance. No one else in the room waiting? Hey, there thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Good deal. I'm going to, yeah, uh, they're just going to leave it there at the place. And uh, so they're going to get hold of me how with the... Uh, Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can either wire it or get a cashier's check Monday or you can always stick it on my credit. Okay. Thank you. Okay, good. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate it. Bye. I just bought it for 80000 plus uh, 25% that'd be another 20 so that's a hundred plus sales tax so that's uh whatever anyway cool got me a savoya i still got to rebuild it completely from scratch all the wood's got to be done uh it's got to get a proper engine um but anyway so but if nothing else we can hang it up that's a lot better than 120 so i'm happy